wakaniuliza wa Amy what is what, what is your faith unataka haje nikamwambia i only need peace hiyo ndio kitu yenye nilikuwa natamani kwa hiyo maisha sana nilisikwa na lala because nilikuwa nakumbuka watoto wangu every day stuck ni wache watoto kwa asasi it is a pardon Greetings Tuko family. My name is Lilia and welcome to yet another episode of Tuko Talks. Today we have a very sad news story. One that when I got to learn this story it shook me and made me feel a bit uneasy because sometimes you don't understand how the law works in Kenya. But with that I do have somebody here who's going to explain to us at least to layman's language how the law sometimes can work and for you and sometimes even against you i don't know if that's correct to say but we'll start um by i'll start by introducing our specialists here they will tell us their names and the capacity they sit in here so we'll just start by you that's your camera uh, good morning everyone my name is uh, mugore kinosia i'm an advocate of the high court i'm a court and next mediator i work in the litigation department uh the law firm is at uh, kilimani it's called ekc advocates yes Thank you very much. Hi everyone, my name is Elizabeth uh, Kilo and I'm here as a counseling psychologist um, and I'm excite excited to be here. And now uh, we will come to you. So she's our guest and we'll try to explain, just introduce yourself to Ambe Jinayako and what you do on your day-to-day -day basis. Yes, yes uh, uh, hello everyone. I am Amy Ruto from uh, Wasinkishu County and uh, uh, in my day the day-to-day uh, -day, uh, activities uh, i am a business lady i am a designer mm. yeah a graphic designer oh okay yeah. nice mm. okay so karibu sana tuko yeah um now of course we know a part of your story but we'd like you to share your story with them and of course also with our audience and with me also yeah. so you can just tell us um how you got yourself to where you are in terms of your marriage life when after school, where did you get to Ulifika Shulewapi? I am the firstborn. Uh, I, I have six siblings. Kapla si chaingia secondary school. Nina kumbuka iyo wakati, my sister mwenye ananifuata, tulimaliza class 8 pamoja. Kwa sababu tunashindani ya one year. We, we stay as, as twins. Kim tuona unadhani is twins. Mm -hmm. So tulianza shule pamoja, tukaenda pamoja, tukafanya class 8 pamoja. Siku enye tulifanya class 8 pamoja, Tukapita, dada katuambia, please, I want someone, I, I want one of you, I repeat class 8. Mm -hmm. uh, Mi nika amua kuka, nika rudia class 8, my sister akaenda. The next year, mi nika pita tena, the next year again, nika ambio tena hakuna pesa. Rudia tena. Katu nyumbani alafu utaenda next year. Mi nika ka. So the next option, sini kuenda sasa maid, unaenda maid. Mm -hmm. So that's where I met my boyfriend, mm -hmm. the father of my firstborn daughter, when I go from Fosai. I go from Fosai. So, uh, to li kutana na yeye, uh, uh, lakini file ni 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 kwa tu na mimba. Aka aka se ma mimba siyo yangu. Aka niacha. Mi ni kaienda nyumbani. Ni kaienda kuka ni kambi adad. Nataka kuenda shule. Aka kubali mi ni kaienda shule from one. Kufika from two tena. Pesa ikakata. Nona, pesa ikakata. Hasa file, file pesa ilikata ili nikiwa form 2, nikakaa nyumbani. Indo hiyo mimba ingine. From another person. From another person. Kuenda kwa huyo mtu mwingine tena, yeye, yeye tena alitoroka kama sija, sija saa. I was planning even kutoroka, nikisatu, nitoroke ni wache mtoto na niende. Lakini unajua mtoto kama hamekucha dunia na you have a connection. You cannot. Ani, file ni lisa ni kese mapana, I will take care of my child. Hata kama huyo mtu wa metoroka, in fact, the uh, mama ya huyo, huyo mtu waka nipeleka kwetu. Haka sema tu nakucha sheree sijui nini, lakini in my mind, nimekata kwao. In my mind, nimekata, kama nimetoroka kwa sai, itakuwaje. Oh, yes, yeah. Nikaenda, nikambia that, mi nataka kuenda shule. Eh, indio nikaendelea sasa, baka nikamalisa fumfu. Mm -hmm. Nikamalisa fumfu, nikaenda hiyo maid, nika... Asa nika, nika achiriwa eh, akrofet ngina hapo. Nika weka pesa. Nika chiweka shule. Nika, chise, ni, nika, chi, nika chiweka shule. Nika kuche Eldoris. Nika chiweka shule. Nilikuwa na market shule fulani tena. Ni, na, nina soma. Niki, 
nikienda nini nikaendelea tu hivyo hivyo na sasa watoto wako wako wapi ukiwa shule ulienda university wako na mama oh, wako na mama wote wawili wako na mama kwa mama nimepeleka kwa mama so ujue baba ya huyu mtoto wangu wa kwanza hajawaiona mtoto yake mm -hmm. Mtoto ya baba ya huyo mtoto mwingine in fact hata hajawahi muona afadhali hata huyu wa kwanza kwa sababu alimpata ali akiwa grade 5 kwa sababu mimi nilichikaza mpaka nikamleta huyo mtoto wangu eh, Frida nikampeleka nikampeleka boarding school nikachikaza nikapeleka boarding school lakini to make matters worse huyo mtu alioa alioa pipi mwingine na huyo pipi mwingine alikuwa anajua huyo ni mtoto wake so oh, alikuwa anamfuata oh, sasa nilikuwa nashangaa sh mbona huyo mtu ana anafuata mtoto wangu kwa sababu nakumbuka ati alienda mpaka shule akasema eti eti kuna mtoto alileta hapa anaitwa so and so nilikuwa nigetaka kumuona akaambiwa a ah, ah, no tunamjua mama yake mm. eh yeah, akaambia tunamjua mama yake mm. siku nyingine tena baba yake akaenda mpaka hiyo shule akasema ya mtepa yule chuko father mm. yeah, mtoto amjui uh, yeah, mtoto amjui akaanza sasa hiyo piko yani kutunini kutusumbua sumbua nakumbuka vile alimaliza grade 8 alimaliza tu grade 8 amepita ameitwa hii school Eldoret girls lakini pesa hakuna mm. sina pesa so sija nimeruka nini eh, on, on the process nikiwa town niki, nikiwa ninasoma ninasoma nina tukutana na baba ya watoto wangu watatu wenye i am the mother of five eh, nikakutana na baba ya watoto wangu watatu. Huyo sasa ndio alikuwa anatusaidia anat ngawaja hakuwa anasaidia sana. Lakini mimi ndio nilikuwa nachituma. So ni baba mgani wa the first child, second or third? Na mgani? Ule mwenye alienda chule. Ule wa kwanza. Unasema mwenye alikuwa anakusaidia kulipa school fees ni baba tuto, mtoto wa kwanza. Aa, ah, kuna hmm. kuna mwenye tulipatana nikiwa uni. Uh -huh. Sasa huyo sasa ndio nikasa ni mtoto wa tatu. Third fourth na fifth oh okay yes ah, umeelewa sasa nimekuelewa sasa eh sasa tukaendelea na yeye ilikuwa sawa ngawaje alikuwa violent akikunywa pombe anakuwa violent akikunywa pombe ye, unajua red, red, red flags unaonanga mapema mm -hmm. kwa sababu ana, inafika wakati yeye anasema nitakuua unaona nitakuua akiwa Tatu, mlevi akiwa mlevi unasikia nitakuua na lakini hakuna siku yenye unakumbuka hata wacha niende ni mstaki hakuna mm -hmm. uwezi kumbuka hata lakini anakuambia tu anakuambia tu lakini unamurumia una kwa sababu ni mtoto ni baba ya nani ya watoto wako eh, lakini ilifika wakati yenye tumefungiwa nyumba tumefungiwa stima tumefungiwa maji nikaomba landlord atufungulie nyumba tukaingia nyumba lakini acha tufungulia maji na acha tufungulia nini stima stima lakini tunatumia candle siku moja nilikuwa natoka job kufika kufika kwa hii, kwa nini eh, kufika mtoto amechomeka mguu kwa nini kwa sababu ya kando lilianguka ikaangukia kiti ka, ikamchoma mkono mkumbu mtoto ndio huyo mimi nikapeleka hospitali lakini hataki kujua mimi nikapeleka lakini ilifika wakati yenye lisema tu enough is enough e, nikapika simu wa msichana yangu nikaambiana mtoto akikuja mimi nimeenda reserve e, nikamwambia director unipele e, e, pea yeye pesa yenye namtosha akuje mpaka wapi nyumbani mahali fulani hemi kidogo yeah. kuna mali kidogo labda tudelewana so umesema your first two children are yeah. two different, different fathers two different fathers alafu vile umeingia college ukapata yeah. mwingine ndio ukapata naye watoto wako wa watatu, watatu. Yeah. wa mwisho si ndio yeah. so au oh, wengine wawili wako wapi bado uliwacha kwa mama no tulikuja kwa nini kuja wote niko na wote in fact the kijana uh -huh. kijana ndio alikuwa amepaki nyumbani lakini nilimleta juzi uh -huh. nilimleta akiwa grade 7 okay nikamleta tukae pamoja nikae pamoja yeah. so na yeye yeah, alikuwa amekubali ku take care of watoto wengine wawili ambao alikuwa amekubali lakini ulikuwa unaona yani si unajua unaona huyu mtu hapana mm. acha kubali ili ku take how long ndio useme utaki kukaa na yeye eh ili yeah, yani let's say za watoto watatu vile nilisaa the last born mm. my last my, my last born daughter ali vile hata kabla nilikonceive nikamwambia since i am pregnant akasema itabidi tudoe we have to abort nikamwambia yeah, yeah. nani atakufa wewe ama mimi watoto wangu watakana nani hapo sasa ndio hiyo hatred sasa ika crow kwangu sasa oh. saidi ika crow saidi yani mpaka niki nikimuona hata yani na feel 
something else ilifika hata wakati yenye nili yani hiyo hiyo vile nili nili toka nyumbani my uncle akanisaidia nikamwambia my uncle eh, the story my uncle akanisaidia pesa nikaanza business yangu kwa sababu i am i am good in uh, card designing ya uh, wedding cards what is uh, anything nikafungua sasa saiba yangu hiyo sasa ndio nikaanza kumsaidia watoto wangu yule mtu hataki tena hataki nifungue business yani ni mtu mwenye hataki niendele oh eh, nataka ukwetu atizmasi yani uh, yeah hataki mm. niendele ninafungua business nikafungua hiyo business na nikaendelea nayo tu nikaendelea kabisa nikaendelea na hiyo na, naendelea na hiyo business nikisaidia watoto wangu even though i atuku sina si, si hizo ma computers mzuri sina printer kubwa sina nini lakini at least it can take my children back to school wamtole hiyo wampe hiyo basic needs hiyo ndio ilimsaidia sana inasaidia il, il, watoto wangu at the point when unasema bwana kwa alikwambia we need to abort this child so uliza ndio katoka kwa marriage ama yeah, nilitoka nilisa nilisa uliza ndio eh, nilisa lakini mm. in that period mm baka ni sai it was so hard kwa sababu unajua that person ujue alikuwa na bibi mwingine alikuwa na bibi yake mwingine so yeye hata alikuwa hawachawana tu bado lakini kwa sababu nilikuwa nimepitia nimeshamwambia kwa sababu nilikuwa nimemwambia eh nimeshapitia hii changamoto mingi did you know that mimi nilitengeneza kadi za shere ya huyo bibi na yeye ah because i want him to go away from from me nataka haende naambia pipi hata hata shamba yenye anataka kununua huko wewe ndio uta uhakikisha imeandikwa chini yako yeah because i don't need anything so she was also aware alikuwa anajua pia anajua, kuna bibi mwingine nimemwambia vizuri everything nimemwambia everything nimemwambia everything nilikuwa nimemwambia in fact yeye sio eti ni adu yangu mm. my friend nilimwambia everything kwa sababu alikuja temze te sasa akakuja akaniambia hey sijui kwa nini priska ana ana nini ana ameanza kukonda sijui nikamwambia ako na stress enda enda kwa itakuwa engagement enda engagement eh, maybe atakuwa atakuwa bit peta kidogo akaenda hivyo sasa fila alienda sasa akafanya hiyo shere yote ikakuwa sawa not that atujui kwao for the last 10 years tuko na yeye for 10 years na sijui kwao najua kwao ni wapi ni mahali fulani lakini hajawahi tupeleka kwao najua yeye ni orphan lakini hako na hako na nduku hako na familia other hata family lakini hajawahi tupeleka kwao for the last 10 years so akikuja kwako alikuwa ashakwambia hemi ni kuna another wife yes ameniambia hiyo alini in fact alini al open baadaye so zile mshakwa pamoja yeah okay. sasa ndaka hata hiyo ndio ilikuwa imenifanya i i don't trust him oh. yeah and in, in, in that process sikuwa na nina nina ni ni trust him in anything yenyana anafanya sasa ilifika wakati yenye nili eh, alikuja mpaka penye nafanya kazi mm. aka akaniambia mbona nilikupigia simu ukuchukua nikamwambia nilikuwa ninaoga mm. si kuchukua simu na hiyo wakati vile nilikuwa ninaoga nilioka na nikawacha simu ikichaji na nikaenda kulala si kuona mpaka asubuhi mm. akaanza ku, kutaka ku, ku, kunichapa in fact alitoa eh, fit, fitaki ya fitaki ya eh, eh, blouse yenye nilikuwa nayo kama singekuwa na nini ndani kekuwa kuba na ni ujue Niko, niko kwa eh, penye kwa 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 duka. Wa, kwa duka yangu penye niko na anafanya hivyo ah nikamwambia hapana kama umeamua hivi sijawahi nimewahi kukustaki asema hapana nikamwambia leo nitakustaki asema we enda we enda mimi nikaenda nikaenda kumstaki central police station in doris hmm. hasa vile nilienda kumstaki huko waka wakaandika wakampikia simu sasa where are you akamwambia niko hivi akamwambia kuja nyumba kuja unahitaji kapa akasema sawa kumbe on the, on the process akikuja anapigia baba yangu simu hasa vile alifika akaambiwa huyu ni nani akasema my wife nikamwambia mimi ni your wife kama mimi ni your wife ninajua kwenu umewahi hata hata ukikufa saa hii watoto wataenda kwa nani hmm. wataenda kwenu wakijua ni wapi wanajua ni wapi kwenu ni wapi hatujui kwenu 
Sasa akauliswa, umewahi chukua kwa hapana. Nakumbuka papa yake fila alipas singi, alipas papa yake alipas papa yake nduku ya baba yake. I, I was to go to Masishi funeral. Lakini akaniambia hapana usikuje, kuna kasi yenye nataka na ufanya hapo tao. Ndo apele kule bibi wa kwanza. Ya, yeah, siya likuwa already amesha mpeleka. Oh. Eh, yeah, si kuenda. Si kuenda tena. And that was the worst thing. Si kuwa, kama mtu wataki aone, aone, umone manduku zake ya nani, meaning that person is not a good person. For 10 years. For 10 good years, si kuwa imuona kwa u. So, in that process, tukiwa huko eh, police station, eh, aka uliswa, why? Kwa nini? Nika ambia, na nichapa ndio isi, ndio, 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 ndio ame nichapa, ana, anapenda kunichapa sana. Na anasema eti, anasema eti, my wife, my wife aje, my wife, wewe unapigia wasasi wangu, tukikuwa sana unapigia wasasi wangu, why? Wakaniuliza, eh, what, is, what, what is your faith? Unataka aje? Nika mwambia, I only need peace. Iyo ndio kitu enye nilikuwa natamani kwa iyo maisha sana. Eh, yeah, iyo, iyo nilikuwa naitamani sana. Nilikuwa naitamani sana. Thank you. Peace. Si kuwa yonja. Ilikuwa na, na, ninalia tu, ninalia tu, everyday. Hata mtu wakikupikia simu, unatamani kusima. Yani ndi wasikuje kwa hiyo nyumba. Na ilikuwa hata inafika wakati yenye una. Kwa sababu, alipi fees. Mimi ndi wanalipia fees. Yeye, yeye, akuna siku. Yani, siku yenye anakuja, ndi wanaleta, analeta shopping. Okay. Yani, anajinunulia chakula. Meaning, anajinunulia chakula. Oh, yeah. hmm? Yani una, una struggle, yani ata, ata nyumba alipi, miti yoni nalipa. I am working for them. Nalipia watoto wangu. Na hakikisha tu wameenda shule mzuri. Na hakikisha wameenda, wame, wameenda shule, awachakosa. Awacha so alikuwa tu anataka uishi maisha ile ya nataka yako, siwe unataka. Mm. Ule sana ya. I, I only yearn for peace. Si kwa ta, si wata upendo, nilikuwa nataka tu peace. Nataka tu nika. Nilale vizuri kama watu. Si, si kwa nalala. Because nilikuwa nakumbuka watoto wangu every day. Sitaki ni wache watoto kwa asasi. It is a pardon. Yeah. Nataka I want to work for them. To work for them. No, kisamu unataka peace for you. You did not want to be with him. Sikuwa nataka tena yeye. That is the peace you wanted. Yeah. Mali unajua uko kivi yako na watoto wako bila yeye. Kwa sababu nakumbuka ata, the same day yenye nilianda kumstaki akambiwa from now. In fact niliambiwa from now. Mm. Amy need peace. Mm. And that is because of you, you must keep away till further notice. Aliambiwa hivyo. Mm. And that was the day I tested peace. Mm. That right minute I tested peace. The same day, in fact, nilienda paka kwa nyumba, nekapata my sister, nekambia, I am happy. Mm. I am very happy today. I can't sleep. Nililala samocha, paka samocha kesho. Oh, wow. mm? Nililala. I eat. Yani, nil, nilifurai sana. Nilisikia peace. Kitu yenye ilikuwa imenifinya, imetolewa. Oh, spole sana yemi. But I'm glad that that day you found peace. It's important. Yeah. Sabu ni kitu, naitaji ukiwa sawa, pia tutuwa kwa kwa sawa. Yeah. Like you can see, she ata anasema ili siku hayuko saa, watoto waki wana, they can tell, mpaka wana kuja kumprotect. Yeah. So then him, when you talked to me, uli niambia, that there was a time uko kazi, wana mm. kwa kakuja huu. Tunaeleke hapo sasa. Mm -hmm. Ilikuwa, il, il, ilikuwa, ilikuwa 2021, mm. ilikuwa tari 27, mwezi wa kumi, mm. nikienda kumstaki. Mm -hmm. Alafu, Tare moja, eh, tare kumi, January. Mm -hmm. My son alikuwa mekucha on the holiday, eh, kama December. Yeah. Haka niambia, mam, naona maksi yangu siyo mzuri. Nataka unibadilishe shule. Nika muambia, una, unakubali wende body? Haka sema, eh. Nika muambia, sawa. Natuko tatam, lakini wacha, wacha nicharibu kwa sabu, January ni tatam. Mm -hmm. Mwambia wacha nicharibu nione kama tunesa. Nika, nika tuma mama, mama wangu sasa. Mwambia mama, ebu nitafutie shule nyumbani, public, yenye ni boarding, na ni mzuri. Mm -hmm. Haka pata. Haka niambia wanalipa hivi na hivi. Nika mwambia sawa. Nika kuja kutayarisha kijana angu, fizuri. Nika mwambia, e, tutaenda kesho shule. Yeye alikuwa anajua. E, e, baba, baba ya watoto wale wengine. Mm -hmm. Anajua ni kuna gijana anataka kupadilishi wa shule. Kwa sababu siku kwa namficha. Mm. Eh. Sasa unajua alikuja, alinipikia simu kwa nsa asubuhi, mm. uyu mzee, haka nipikia simu, haka niambia, umeamua wesi nisamea, nika muambia ipu wachana na mimi. 
kwa saa hii waachana na mimi niko kazi na ukura stress za shule ah, ah, sio hata hiyo mm. yani nilikuwa kazi niko pisi mm. akaniambia hapana utaki kusikia chenye nasema mimi niko mkono alikamwambia siwendi hospitali na nikakata simu akasema sasa niende wapi akanipikia tena niende wapi ah, siwendi hiyo yenye iko karibu na kwenu akakata aka simu kidogo kidogo na naona ndio huyu amefika kufika akasema nilikuwa na wasalimia tu na akaenda kumbe alienda paka kwa nyumba akapata kumbe alikuwa anadhani ni kichana peke yake na kale alikuwa anataka kijana alikufika kwa nyumba akapata kumbe kijana hako na msichana kijana msichana, ni last born eh, ah, eh, kijana ni anaenda yule mwenye anataka kupeleka body okay. second born oh, second born yeah okay sasa mm -hmm. Eh, msichana alikuwa anacheza na watoto wengine nje akaenda kuwasalimia eh, kusalamia dad mm. na wakarudi kuleta kwa nyumba eh, alafu kufika kwa nyumba si akaona kijana hako akamwambia kijana eh, tutakula nini hebu eh, enda enda nunua mkate enda nunua mkate alafu mm. tupige chai kijana akakimbia kununua mkate na akarudi akamwambia ah na hujanunua kumbe hatuna masiwa enda nunua masiwa tena na alikuwa anajua kuna nini mm. masiwa akaenda kununua masiwa na ile kijana Mungu tu anamtumia yeye akakimbia mbio na akarudi haraka kufika ameshamnyonga mtoto akaona mtoto amelala chali na na nini na bofu inatoka oh no sasa vile aliona eti mtoto ameyakelea manguo hivi akashika manguo hivi na akamwambia oh umefika haraka akamwambia umefanyia nini chela akamsukuma akataka kum, 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 kumshika kumnyonga sasa kijana mm. kijana akamsukuma chini akamsukuma hivi akatoka akatoroka akamfuata sasa eh, majirani wakamwambia mbona unafukusa kijana akasema watoto wa kurufi ni hivi amekuwa mkurufi sana akasema au akasema by the way kama mtoto ni mkurufi ati amekataa kwenda shule kama mtoto ni mkurufi ana anachabwa hivyo mm. as hivyo tu kijana akaenda kumbe akachificha yule akaenda akiendanga akumuona penye ameenda akarudi na akambia majirani wale wale munisaidie mtoto amekufa kwa nyumba akakuja sasa watu wakaanza kukuja kuingia kuona mtoto ndio huyu mtoto ame nini bofu inatoka kwa nini sasa eh, jirani yangu eh, mwingine akasema mweke eti wakasema pe maji mm. akamwambia hapana msipe maji eh, nas mwenye alikuwa jirani yangu wakati huo mm. akakuja akashika mtoto na akaweka kwa pikipiki na wakaenda sio sio mbali hospitali yeye kwa sababu alikuwa off mm. yeye ndo ilipidi arudi wapi kasi na yeye sasa ndio akaenda kusaidia kijana akashika e, simu ya jirani akanipigia mam mtoto amepelekwa hospitali kuja mpaka hospitali mimi nikafika sasa hospitali kufika hospitali mtoto ndio huyo yani analini tu lakini uso imefura macho imefura lakini bofu bado inatoka lakini amefanyiwa anafanyiwa first aid na mm -hmm. yule nurse mm -hmm. anafanyiwa first aid in the next 5 minutes eh, ambulance ikafika tukampeleka sasa MTRH tukatipiwa huko uh, uh, tukaandikiwa P3 the next day yeah, tukaandikiwa the next day kwa sababu tulitipiwa mpaka saa 5 usiku mtoto mm. akakuwa amekuwa sawa nika tukamleta yeye nikapeleka sasa kuenda kuandika sasa statement na nikaenda kwa nyumba ukiandika okay, yeah. your statement uliandika what was the statement that uliandika vilifika kwa polisi Nili, niliandika mm -hmm. kuanzia uh, wakati alinipikia simu mm -hmm nona kwanza saa yenye alinipigia simu asubuhi mm -hmm. nikaandika eh, filali eh, filali alinipigia alini, 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 alini simu akakuja akaniambia you will regret this nikaandika kwa sababu file nilifika hata hospitali nikajaribu kumpigia simu akasema we munisamee kabisa munisamee na sichafanya kitu na akakata simu na akakuwa mpecha na akakuwa mpecha na hapo vile daktari alifika alikwambia okay it was obvious that I'm strangled lakini daktari lazima Yeah. aseme shida ni gani daktari alikwambia uh, unajua kulikuwa na process huko okay. mm -hmm. yeah. kulikuwa na process alafu hiyo harufu eh, una, unasikia harufu unasikia ni diazonol ni nini unasikia tu ni sumu fulani amepewa oh. mtoto so pia kwa alimwekea pia sumu eh, kwa sababu tulipata kamkepe kwa nyumba mm -hmm. yenye nakali na kikombe yenye na kama mtoto alikuwa anatakikana kunywe lakini mtoto hakukunywa ndio akaamua kumstrangle oh. na hiyo ikakuwa hivyo sasa lakini usuri na kama mtoto wako haikuingia kwa tumbo na kaa kunini kwa sababu hata vile alitoka hospitali ukimuuliza ulikula nini eti dadi alinipea alinipea vitu chafu nikunywe muona 
kwa sababu alafu hiyo eh, hizo samples tulipeleka police station mm. tukapeleka mpaka mti wa chembe si unajua hiyo ni nia chembe mm. kumbe nakaa alikuwa anachukua hiyo aenda akonge kijana oh eh, so, hiyo so exhibit ilikuwa hiyo tena na vile ili, ili walipima hiyo eh, walipima hizo walipeleka, walipeleka kwa government chemist vile ilitoka wakasema ika, ikaonekana kwamba eh, ilikuwa duo deep duo deep ndio alipewa mm. mtoto hiyo ya ku, kutumia nini i think ni ya, ku, ya ngombe ama nini ya oh. ni, ni ya fix ikitu kama hiyo alipewa hiyo Ah, uh, report kwa police station wakaandikia pia. Wakaandikia uh -huh. wakatuambia sasa eh si wakaendelea si alikuwa amepotea. Mm. Eh akatafutwa akatafutwa kidogo kidogo nika sasa mimi unajua siishi na amani sasa hiyo. Mm. Siishi na amani. Tumeanza sasa kuwa waoka anaweza kuja kutumaniza na ame, amepotea. Sasa siku moja nikaamua tu acha nimpikie pipi yake. Nikamwambia pipi umeficha wapi? Nani? Nikamwambia ujui ni nani? Nimesema tu unaficha wapi ama wewe tutakuweka ndani alafu tuambie penye iko penye hako. In one hour nasikia eti ndio huyu ame ame surrender. <laughs> kwa sababu nilimwambia pipi tutakuweka ndani kwa sababu sasa wewe ndio unajua penye hako. <laughs> Hakuna mwingine mwenye anajua ni wewe tu. Mm. Eh ndio sasa ilipidi nakaa ilipidi amwambie yeye mm. alafu afanye nini? Akuje. Akuje. Mm. Eh sasa E, ili, ili, I, nani e, pradake alinipigia simu kuna pradake polisi akanipigia simu akaniambia emi si kuwa najua mulikuwa na relationship na my brother lakini nimesikia mambo ni siyo masuri kaniambia can we talk nikamuambia how can we talk ana walaifi sisi ndenja hiyo mm. ndio nilimuambia na waja wai nipigia mpaka waneo mm. e, tutajuaje tutajuaje ni mtu mwenye alikuwa na asira tu tutajuaje kwa sababu huyo mtu aliwa alitutreaten for a long time yeah. alitutreaten for a long time mm. eh nikamwambia haiwezekani nikamwambia hiyo ndio nilimwambia tu tutajuaje ni mtu mwenye alikuwa amekasirika mm. eh kwa sababu hata mpaka wa leo hata yeye mwenyewe hajawahi sema hivi munisame hajawahi sema hivi wacha ni hata kwenyu niombe msama kama alikuwa ni mtu mwenye sasa hakuna mtu amewahi nini to make matters worse eh alitafuta lawyer mwenye ni rafiki yangu akuwa lawyer wake Yeah. So at, sasa the same lawyer atusalamiani tena. Nimekuwa <laughs> sasa maadui. Tumekuwa maadui. Kwa sababu nakumbuka wakati tulienda kotini najua sasa tukiwa kotini na natamani na, tu yani nikiona hivi nasikia yani tulitestify wa mtoto kwa sababu mtoto anaongea vizuri anajua chenye ile hapa. Mm. Ana anajua the same person ni nani. Mm. Alafu nini katestiwa. Alafu sasa on that time Eh, loya kanuliza eh, eh wasasi wake wamewahi kukhol nikamuliza wewe ni loya wake ujawahi jua huyu mtu ni, ni offer hmm. unataka wa ni cool sasa ndio cha sasa akamwambia what are you asking hata ya juu client wake ujui do you do you ujui hata client wako ni ni nani so kidogo kidogo sasa akasema uh, we need more time Mm. Eh, so, so the problem sasa penye iko kwa hii kesi ni moja. Eh, on those oh, eh, eh, cases kwa sababu tumeenda tulienda ya kwanza, mm. tumeenda ya pili. Ukiwa peke yako wewe tu na mtoto. Mimi wako. na mtoto, mimi na mtoto. Okay. Eh, lakini sasa eh, wenye wenye wa, witnesses, mm -hmm. eh, witnesses hawajawahi kuja. Nakumbuka hata niliwatumanishia pesa lakini hawakuja. Vile bwana wako alienda, okay ex husband wako alienda, mm. aka surrender. Mm -hmm. Ali surrender akisema I have done this. Alienda pia alienda akasema I'm guilty. Mm. In fact that alisema I am guilty. Lakini vile tulikuwa kotini anasema I'm not guilty. I think we'll answer why the police didn't arrest him at that point. Kama wali arrest. In fact they were arrested when back akawekwa ndani, akapelekwa oh. kotini akatolewa na bond. So mpaka leo hii mimi paliuko. Mhm. Kesi bado haujui inaendelea aje. Asijui. Sijui inaendelea aje. Hata hata saa hii tulienda on the 15. Mm. Vile tulienda on the 15 mwezi wa 5. Mm. Tulienda mwezi wa 15 mwezi wa 5 na tucha sikujua hata hata sijui waliweka tarehe ngapi. Mm. Sijui hata waliweka tarehe ngapi mpaka leo sijui. Hawakukwambia vile ulienda hapo. Mm. Hata nilienda mpaka nikauliza case number, case mm. case file au ni pay. Tukiongea ulikuwa umeniambia kuna time ulipewa lawyer. Nani alikupea huyo lawyer? ile nambo liko mimi nipatia lawyer. Huyo hiyo hiyo lawyer nilipewa kwa nini less. Najua less sijui inaitwa legal what ya, ya MTRH. Mhm. Mm oh. Na wewe leo jemu ona? Sijawahi muona. Au jemu ongelea. Ah, ah. 
So mwara mwisho wa kusikia story kesi ni yo 15th. 15th. Back of, of May. Of May. Na hawa kukwambia what next. Yeah. Polisi usha irudi teno kawangelesha. Bado. Bado. Yeah. Sai uo mtu asha kukwangelesha teno. Uh -uh. Muliona na yo 15th. Iyo 15th ni limo. Tuliona na Alikuwa kutini. Alikuwa. Okay. Na ule ulo ya rafiki yako. La rafiki yake tu. We'll start with you Liz. Mm. Here. Himi kutoka mwanzo 10 years yeah. of not knowing where your fam the family of your husband per mm. se is. Mm. Two, this is a man who is not committed to you because yeah. he's fully committed to the first wife. Na badu anampatetu wa toto. And uh, the more they get children, he does not take responsibility. Mm. Ata wa mtoto, ata mmoja, ata kwake. Mm. So, let's talk to Emi. Yeah. Uh, so, Emi, yeah. first of all, it's to really say you are such a strong woman, eh? Um, you know, listening to your story, I'm like, that's such a strong woman. And I think it's because you have, you know, when you are a firstborn in your family, mm, yeah. obviously, you know, there's that strength that comes with that. And yeah. for you, I recognize that you were, you know, working hard to support first your family, your siblings. Yeah. And then now here again, you have your kids that yeah. you have to really work hard to support. Yeah. So one thing I've really liked about like the family, where you are born, supportive family, yes. Yes. you know. Mm -hmm. Like your dad did not say, you know, you've done a mistake, mm -hmm. you, you know, you've gotten pregnant, I'm not taking you back to yeah. school. So I think your dad has played a very critical role in yeah. your life yes. uh, by the fact that, despite the fact that you got the first baby, yeah. he was still willing, you know, to support you to go back to school. Yeah. And definitely your hard work, yeah. you know, uh, can be applauded in this mm. story. Yeah. But then now when we come to the father now of your three kids, yeah. we can clearly say, see that he was an abusive man yes. Yes. from this yeah. story. And most of abusers, mm. what they use is they want to have power over you. Yeah. yeah? Mm. So they uh, abuse you emotionally, psychologically, yeah. physically, and even financially. even financially, you know, they want to have total control over you, yes. over what you do, over yes. what you eat, over where you go. And obviously, because Amy really wanted to support her children, yeah. she wanted her children to have a father. Yeah. So, and it, that's what most women do. Mm. They stay mm. yeah. because of the mm. children. Yeah. They fight on because of the children. Mm. They say, it's okay, let me suffer, but let my children mm. grow up, okay. you know, in a family. And mm. that's exactly what she did. But obviously, when abuser starts to sense that the power that he had over you, he's losing mm. that power, mm. then they become very aggressive. Yeah. Mm. You know, and that is why now we see this story that the husband was abusing her physically, mm. even in front of the children. Mm. Obviously, the children get affected the most. Yeah. Yeah, Many exactly. women would say, I want to stay in this marriage for the sake of my children. Yeah. And mm. what you're doing is your children are suffering more. Mm. And once they become bigger, they can either become abusers themselves mm -hmm. yeah. or hate marriage mm -hmm. or something like that. So you see now after he sensed, okay, this woman, I'm a chanuka, sasa, yes, I, I'm in a report kwa polisi. Yeah. Now mm -hmm. he realizes the power that I had over my enemy is immense. Mm -hmm. And that is why now we see the aggression. Mm -hmm. So obviously this is not someone from the beginning. Yeah. It's not someone who was good. He was an abuser from the beginning. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's only that his tactics now, you know, graduated to something harmful yeah. because he lost that control he had over you. Yeah. So what we see here is completely a man who is abusive, not only over, you know, the wife, mm. but even she over the children, yeah. which is, you know, truly sad. And I just pray that you get the justice that you deserve mm. and that your child deserves. And yeah. now we'll go to you, as you've had the, the loopholes here, because mm. one, she was given a lawyer who, mm. yeah, who yeah. is like, does not exist. Mm. <laughs> you know, you go to court and there's no one to tell you what to do mm. and to guide you because mm. she does not know. I mean, I'm equally the same. I'm yeah. blank when it comes to the law mm. and these things. So maybe you can help us understand when such a case happens, mm -hmm. what should she have done? Or mm. if she did something, what would, you know, like just give us to say to understand this situation. The first thing Ambayo, I actually recommend is the fact that Ulijua, this person is violent, mm -hmm. no katoka. Mm -hmm. The first part, ya kwenda ku report. Uh, mm -hmm. at the police station and getting a P3 and getting even medical report. Mm -hmm. You need gathering evidence mm -hmm. and to be able to support your case. Mm -hmm. 
Kwenye tumefika, they say um, raising an African child, it takes the entire village. Mm -hmm. And the entire village ina include the government mm -hmm. ikiwa hapo, the community ikiwa hapo, mm -hmm. and even you as a parent to take care and protect even your children. Yeah. Kenya unafanya is trying to protect your kids. Ndiyo, make sure that your kids grow in a, in a, in a well and protected environment. Yeah. So you going to report first. Yeah. Kuna ile ulienda kwa polisi. Yeah. Polisi walikuandikia at least OB. Yeah. And then now, you can actually go to the children officer. Yeah. The procedure now taking steps. Mm -hmm. Go to the children officer. Children officer with the, even the medical report. Mm -hmm. Ataweza kuandika report ambayo utapelekwa kotini. Yeah. The court in, in itself, unaona iyo umefile kesi na koti enyewe ishatukua kesi. Yeah. It has a mandate to make sure the children are protected mm -hmm. and make an order for protection. Yeah. Okay? The Children Act ili change. It got amended in 2022. Yeah. Yeah. The Children Act right now is trying to take care of the kila mtoto. Yeah. And everything done is in the best interest. Yeah. 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 Unezapata sayi unahela ya kupata nao wakili. Mm -hmm. Okay, but the children court ime make sure ata ile hela ya kulipa to get a uh, file a case eh, mm -hmm. is minimum to nothing. Oh, okay. Okay, so kasa hii, you, you can actually be able to trace your file kwanzia mm -hmm. uli reporti kuna OB. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kwa hiyo OB wanapatianga case file. Yeah. Isha patiwa case file ya OB kutoka police station, nao inafailua, inapelekwa kotini. Mm -hmm. Isha peleko kotini, you just go to the registry, mm -hmm. ya hiyo koti, uombe case file number yako. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then you are able to see. Kama uko na malali, like you are, you are crying to court and asking. Mm -hmm. Hii application nilikuwa nime file because inataka mtoto wangu a protect you from oh, an abuser. Yes. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. This abuser under section 22 of the Children Act in Yeiko Sahi, yeah. inasema, kila mtu ambayo hata protect mtoto, mm -hmm. ama amweke kwa ini harm, ama danger. Yeah. You know, a penalty is for five years, not less than uh, five years, mm -hmm. and a fine of two million, or yeah. even both. Yeah. So, kama unafuatilia kesi yako, kesi yako ni anda, you want your child to be protected. Yeah. Again, it's a person who is an abuser and a violent person. Yeah. The evidence I'm buying on a letter is yeah. the fact that now Ukona Obi, yeah. and, and I'm happy that you manage to go yeah. report. Yes. That's very important. Have yeah, those nilia, copies, nilienda, yeah. Nilienda yu usiku, yeah. nile nilitoka tu hospitali. And you kama have mtoto, the copies, kama mtoto, yeah? Eh, kama mtoto bado wako yeah. bado wako week. Yeah. yeah. So with, with, with those copies, you are able to get, and now the children officer na kujanga, children officer iyo uh, area nye mm -hmm. so that anaeza andika reporti kusema, uh, this is what happened. Violence happened, the child was abused by this person, mm -hmm. and the recommendation is that this child need to be protected. And you are there as a mother mm -hmm. to protect the child so that they can live in a safe yeah. heaven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm very glad, not only that, Ile sukulia muka ukaamua, I'm going to the police station to report him for abusing yeah, me. Yes. Yeah. And deciding to leave. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Na ile ambayo uliandikiwa is more of a restraining order. Mm -hmm. Ambayo tunaombanga, unasema naomba uyo mtu asikuwe any meters karibu na mimi. Yeah. Naomba at any time uyo mtu asikuwe any karibu because my life is in danger. danger. The court is there to protect you. Yeah. And I, 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 even at this point in time, you, you don't really need an advocate. Yeah. Kama uwezi afford. Yeah. Yeah. Because the children court ina, ina kueleza pole pole. Yeah. Na wea mwenyewe kama umlalamishi and there are witnesses. Yeah. Yes. Okay? Yeah. There is a report. Mm. Yes. Iyo on its own, koti inapatiana protection order. Yeah. So that we mwenyewe uweza kuishi yeah. in safety. Yeah. 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 So even going back, uneza sema, right now, venye ulikuwa na sema, unikuwa na ugopa, mm. na ufia, uu mtu waneza kuja, arudi tena ku, 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 you know, disrupt mm. yes. our lives. Yes. Just go back and ask for a restraining order. Unaenda kwa police station, na inye ulikuwa menda, mm -hmm. na unaomba upatue restraining order. Yeah. That uu mtu tangu leo, na even in my entire life, this yes. person need not to be close to me. Yeah. At any time. Yeah. Kuna ile ni najua, um, 
the fact that he's a father and the biological mm. father of the other kids. Eh? Yes. He has to what we call a kind of responsibility, child responsibility to make sure that and are provided for mm. the kids. Providing in a, in a mansha, I provide yes. for school yes. fees. Yeah. I provide food. I provide shelter. Yeah. Iyo ni yake. Whether mnaishi pamoja, whether you're married or not. I story I have to be married to a man for him to provide for the child. Yeah. The fact that he's a biological father and taking care, he's mm. supposed to. You know the father, the mm. father for the first poem. Yeah. The father of the first born a yuko a yuko Kenya, okay. ako USA. Mm. And that person, ako wai kuto, alikuta na mtoto eh, akiwa grade five. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Na akachua ye, mm. na kaienda. Okay. Aka, si akawa. Yeah. Uh, yeah, alikuwa mesha wa already. In fact, mm. yako na kijana inye iko almost the size ya mtoto yangu. Mm -hmm. Wana fuata na tu hivi. Mm -hmm. So, eh, sasa, the problem is also mm. his wife. Mm. His wife, mm. ataki mtoto yangu, mm. akaribie baba yake. Mm. Aonge na baba yake. Kwa mm. sababu na kumbuka baba yake alicharibu kutufikia, mm. ni kamabia ongea na mtoto. Mm. Ay, alisema mutani sahamea, mm. ni kamabia ongea na mtoto. Mtoto ndi atahamua. Mm. Okay. Kwa sababu mtoto kitu yenye alimulizanga mm. mara ya kwanza. Alimuambia, mm. nilikukosea nini? Oh no. Oh. I am so beautiful. I am proud. Mm. In fact, I am not a black person. Yeah. I am proud. Yeah. I am beautiful. I am clever. Mm. What happened? Uliamuaje? Yeah. Yes, yeah, sasa akaomba msama, mm. akamwambia so kama unaomba msama, mm. lipa school fees. Yeah, yeah. Eh, mm. lipa school fees. Sio eti utaula tumenishia mama, yeah. lipa mm. shule. Mm. In fact the third in, in, it, it was last year. Mm. Alilipa it, it was yeye yeah, ako form 3 sahiyo. Mm. Akalipa only third term. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Na huyo mtoto anakuna akuna shida, akuna nini, akuna uh, anakuanga na arthritis. Mm. So Nicole. dawa yake inakuanga expensive. Mm. So akamwambia hata akamwambia lipia daktari pesa nataka niende nilete dawa for medical. Akamlipia. Yeah. Iyo wakati sasa, mm. alimlipia. Mm. The next year, mm. tulikuwa tunatara, mi nilikuwa natarajia maybe atamlipia school yeah, fees. Mm. Mbaka leo. Hadja mi nilimlipia school fees. Hata saa mtoto ana, ana deni. Yeah. Ilibi, nilimambia mtoto, don't worry. Mm. Mi niko. Mm. Nasi mama tu na wewe. Mm. Ata ukiachwa, mm. mi niko. Nikamlipia school fees. Hata ana deni. Yeah. It, yeah. It's really yeah. sad when you have absentee fathers. When you are, o, 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 it's okay. Kama hatuishi pamoja na wewe. Yeah. A child is an innocent child, mm. yeah. well protected under the Children Act. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. The Constitution is nyewe inasema that wewe kama mzazi, whether you're married or not, mm. lazima ujukua yeah. parental responsibilities. Mm. Yes. Na hii responsibility inasema ulipia school fees. Yeah. Weka medical. Yeah. Weka chakula. Yeah. Weka nguo. Weka shelter. Yeah. We mwenye esa hii as an equal parental responsibility. At least we unachangia ki, ile mm. kidogo unaeza mm. na ya anachangia. Yeah. And you are able to actually move court. Because yeah. now court is there to protect every child. Mm. It's not moving because nini ni ku protect every child. Mm. Get orders for maintenance. Yeah. The children act is there. Mm. Get orders for maintenance. Savi mdio Iyo mshara ambayo anapata, inakatua, inafikia mtoto. Mm -hmm. So Mugure now, I think mm -hmm. as you conclude, you'll just um, let her know mm -hmm. where she is right now mm -hmm. as amefika kwa kesi. Mm -hmm. uh, you've said, you've mentioned a lot about children's court and mm -hmm. everything else. Mm -hmm. um, where, what should, should, hello, what should she do mm -hmm. as she is right now, where mm -hmm. she's already filed her case, she has all evidence, mm -hmm. but clearly nothing is happening, mm -hmm. or rather she's not aware mm -hmm. of what to do next. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the first thing, Try to get your police report, and by all you file, go to the court registry, yeah. confirm, yeah. and then now work together with the children officer and by your area. area. Mm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. With that, the children officer will be able to even do a report mm. so that you are able to na the case. And then you will be able to see the case is going to mention ama it is kuja for hearing. Mm. Okay? Yes. Kama inakuja for hearing, unauliza ni nini na nini inaitaji. Yes. Izi document ambazo ukonazo, mm -hmm. the report, the, the OB, izo zote, izo ni part of the evidence ama inatumika mm -hmm. so that the court can be able to move and make a judgment on the yes. case. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. So, Mosque, izo mtu chukwe, ndo upeleke children? 
officer. Officer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, why you so I think the next thing you need to mm. do after children officer. Yes. yes. Yeah, I think that And it's free. Be, Actually, oh, nice. It, everything is anything to do with children mm -hmm. and the department itself. Imehakikisha it's free. For you what do you have to conclude and what do you have to tell him ya mushwile just make her feel right at least some some form of mental yeah. peace. <laughs> Um, first of all, appreciate yourself. Eh? Yeah. You've really done great. Yeah. You've not done any mistakes. Yes. Don't blame yourself because most of the times, you know, when you are a victim, we, and especially women, we tend to blame ourselves. We tend to, you know, feel guilty, say, oh, maybe I didn't protect my children enough. Maybe I should have done this instead of this. So up until where you are in life, yeah. don't blame anything. Just Pick yourself from where you are and tell yourself that I'm well able even to achieve the next step in my life. Mm. Yes. And tell yourself you have done well. Yes. You have done all that you could mm. have done. There's nothing that you have not, you know, that you've not done. You've done your level best yeah. and you're well able to attain the next steps. Yes. Keep the faith because yeah. I've heard that you're also a woman of faith. Yes. You know, keep the faith. Make sure you rest well. Make sure you sleep well because of you know your mental health yeah. because remember your children are still there they need they you need yeah. you know yeah. so no matter what you fight no matter what you encounter make sure that you do not put any blame on yourself mm -hmm. and make sure that you tell yourself i am well able i am strong and i will conquer whatever is on my way yes and you are well able to do it thank you yeah so here me to malaysia um nazataka kusaidiwa aje pale uko sasa vile uko kwa nyumba unaweza ataka watu wale wanakuwatch wa kusaidiaje ah uh, kitu tu yenye nahitaji uh, if they need to support me i request support mm. nahitaji kununua printer kubwa mm. yeah, yo, yo printer kubwa itanisaidia sana to move on with my children they can support my children in everything mm. yeah they can support my children in everything alafu Again, uh, support in Nataka Sana ni maumbi. Oh. Ni maumbi. Because I don't I'm not okay. Mm. I thank I thank my reverend and my bishop. Mm. I know Ananiona. I thank I thank them so much. They encourage us. They encourage us women. They encourage us. That's why I must be a coquette woman. Oh, yeah. They encourage us. Mm. They teach us that your money is sweet. Mm. And that's what I feel. Mm. Your money is sweet mm. from your own hands. Mm. Yeah. Yes. You must be a woman who can work. So you to back. Mm. Yeah. So that's why in my life I hate packing. Mm. I must get mine. I your camera. Just give people your number. No semi legitimate at okay. Yeah, thank you so much, my Tuko family. I know we are friends. You don't know me, I don't know you, but we know each other in the spirit of God. Mm. So the only thing that I need from you is to help me buy a printer. I want a printer which can help me, uh, help my family, help my children so that they, they can meet their needs. Not my own children again, not my own children, even others who need my help because humanity is my mission. Mm. Humanity is my mission. I can't see a, a jail who is working, uh, who has no school fees, mm. who has, I, I must help. I have others who I'm supporting right now. Mm. So my number, my contact is 07 29 52 77 70. Italeta China Hemi Ruto. Thank you for coming here. Thank you for sharing your story. And I'm very sorry for everything that you've gone through. Yeah. But best believe, because you're a woman of faith. Yeah. I also am a woman of faith. Thank you. And I know bad things, even good things don't last. Every season, everything comes for a season and it goes on and goes on. Yeah. So I know even this season too shall pass. Yes. And you shall be fine. And there's one day you will call me and tell me justice has been served. Yeah. Because I know for sure 
justice will be served. You have it. It's not a lie. You've not come to tell a lie. Yeah. You have all the proof that you have, I and know. you want your children to be safe. Yes. And I know your children will be safe, and you too will be safe. Yeah. Thank and you. And we will work together with you to say Daniel Mbakamushu. Asante. Yeah. Okay. Don't give up. I will not. God, I know that you said you have to be a yeah. go-getter. A go-getter. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies, mm -hmm. for being here and, and for giving us your time and for being something that we are helping the society to move forward with yeah. because that's very important. So we are going through so much in the society. So if you find them to a idea here and there, mm -hmm. we appreciate it. appreciate it. Mm -hmm. And hear me, everything's going to be okay. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, guys, for being with us throughout this whole episode of Tuko Talks. My name is Lilia Shan. Until next time, do have yourselves a lovely, lovely time. <laughs>